guys happy Saturday today we're going to be doing a little bit of crafting in the kitchen and please excuse the way I look today it is uh, six o'clock in the morning here it's pitch black out 40 degrees and I will admit it I have not had my shower yet no I do not take a shower on Saturday until I get all the housework done so uh, the reason I'm doing this uh, video really quick is my husband has gone fishing today and he's gonna be gone for six hours well probably about eight hours because it's going to take uh, almost a couple hours for him to get to uh, Dillon Lake is where uh, he and a friend are going today. So I have the house to myself, me and my little boys, my little doggies. And uh, before I get started on my laundry and house cleaning, I thought I would do a quick, well it might not be quick, <laughs> we'll see. I've actually never uh, decoupaged on a pumpkin before. So flat surfaces, yes, uh, but a pumpkin, no. I just about dropped it. <laughs> yeah. I'm still a little tired. I guess I better get another drink of coffee here. I didn't get too much sleep last night. Uh, so uh, this is actually one of those carvable plastic pumpkins that are hollow inside that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby many, many, many years ago, back when they were like a really deep discount, I think 90% off. And it was orange and I painted it white because I'm going to be doing a uh, black and white theme on it. So I wanted this to be white and I didn't want any of the orange to go through because I'm just going to be using some napkins and napkins are pretty thin. The first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to take the stem off because I really don't like these little nubby stems are not pretty. I am going to put a real pumpkin stem on here. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm going to go get the utility knife and I'm going to get this cut off and show you how I put a real pumpkin stem on. Oh, before we get started, I forgot to tell you guys to please stick around till the end of the video because I got the cutest little pumpkin that I want to show you. Now we're going to get started doing this pumpkin. Okay, here we go. Got my utility knife and I'm going to do this super slow. <laughs> Because uh, me and sharp objects are not friends. And since I'm home alone today, I really don't need to be cutting my finger off. Alright, so, you know, since these are carvable ones, you can pretty much just push it in and move it around. As long as it doesn't get stuck. Just want to make sure that your razor blade is really sharp. And I know you probably can't see too much what I'm doing, but I'm just basically going in around the edge as close as possible because I'm going to be hot gluing the real stem on and I'm going to be painting my stem black. So if you have any of this other color there, that's okay. All right, so I guess I'm just going to go slowly. It does make a horrible noise here. I'm just going to keep going around until I get all the way through. It feels like some of this is a little bit thicker than other sections. I'm just going to push it up here. You know, this is not the most exciting thing. Whoops, there it goes. Okay, now I'm going to go get my real pumpkin stem and my hot glue, and we're going to glue it on. All right, so I've got my real pumpkin stem, and I just use the Gorilla Glue hot sticks. I find that they work the best. Just gonna put a lot of glue on here. I need another glue stick, of course. And get in there. All right, so there's. We do this for right now. Let's just figure out where you want to place your stem too. Now you will have a little bit of gapping here and then what I do is I just take uh, my hot glue and I go in and I make it be built up because you're going to be covering all this up with some paint anyway. Uh, if you're not, you just want to make sure that you cut down more flatter on the pumpkin. Get some, uh, so I'm just basically going to 
put some hot glue. So, oops. so like I said, I just was, I'm just building it up with uh, the hot glue. I'm going to go in here, and then uh, once that's all dry, we're going to start the decoupage. All right, I think I'm just going to do a real simple one. Uh, I had a plan to uh, put some plaid on here, some black and white check plaid with the boo. Now, this is just some napkins. And so I decided to do this differently. Uh, I think it's going to be too busy because I also want to put these little bats on here too. So I have these napkins that say Boo. And I am just, I want this to look a little rugged instead of being straight because I'm not sure how this is all going to look once I get it on here. So I'm just going to be ripping around the Boo. And another thing that I'm going to do is, now the boo is, there's, there's only two boos on the napkin and the rest of it, the other half is just like this. I'm going to go ahead and put this on here because there's a little bit of texture going on. This, and I think that will look kind of neat. So, whoa, <laughs> see I'm hitting everything. Well, I think I need some more coffee, goodness. Alright, so I have my mod. Mod Podge, and I just use the matte finish is what I use. Now, if you want a glossy finish, use the gloss. So basically, and I think I'm going to cut these up to be easier to do these in squares. I'm just going to randomly put these around, and they will also uh, overlap each other. So the whole thing is I'm just going to put some Mod Podge. Mod Podge on with the paintbrush. I just use one of my paintbrushes. And I'm not necessarily going to put this in any kind of a pattern because I will overlap. I just want to give the pumpkin a little more texture. And it can be a little rough looking because I think this will look kind of neat. And like I said, it has a little bit of a pattern on here. Then I'm just going to take the Mod Podge and go over it. And I don't care if there's any little creases like this. I think this will look interesting once it all gets uh, dry. And then we're going to randomly take these boos and put them around. And like I said, I have some little uh, bats I want to put around too. And then I'm going to do... I'm going to be painting the stem black, and then I'm also going to be doing some decorations. I have some uh, little black and white things that we can put on top here. So basically that is all I'm doing, and I like how it's already, I don't know if you can tell on the camera. It's kind of hard to tell. Everything's so white when I'm looking at it, but it's getting a little crinkly looking. I'm liking that effect. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this around the pumpkin, and... When that dries, whoopsie, it's tearing a little bit. I'm going to put too much on there. When that dries, uh, get back on the camera here and we'll place these boos around. Okay, so now, move this camera a little bit. This is all dry. It looks kind of cool, just like this to me. Make it look, a, almost looks more like a paper mache one. I guess I'm going to actually. You almost could make it be a mummy or even a ghost. Like a mummy would be kind of cool to put some little eyes, put a little bit more of a bandage looking thing on it. That would be pretty neat. I'm going to put these boos around. I'm not sure where I want to put them. Not sure how many I want to use. But I'm just going to brush some of the, decu uh, the Mod Podge stuff on in here. And place it like so. Just brush some on top. And this does dry clear. And it's like a 
when you're doing something with color, you're like, oh no, it's going to look milky. This dries clear, so don't worry about it. There. See, we're going to have a boo right there. Make sure the edges are down on there. Not sure how many I want to put on, but I do like having a few on in different areas. Just want to kind of put that one down a little bit lower. So basically that is all you're doing. Just figuring out where you want to put things. And like I said, I was thinking about putting that buffalo check plaid on here, but uh, I decided not to. I decided I'm going to do something more fancy at the top here to cover all this up from the stem. Just make it a little more simple. I do have some uh, little bats, stickers. They're uh, puffy ones that I'm going to I'm gonna hot glue on here and there. So, I'm just going to kind of go around. I've done six of these, and I'm not sure if I'm going to use them all. So, I'm going to figure out where to put the rest of them. And once that all dries, we will come back and paint the stem. And then we'll figure out where to put the bats. All right, I have these bat stickers that I got at uh, Joann's. And these are actually... I think I'm say they're puffy and they're a little, they're got this little dimension on them. Now, it would be great if uh, they would just stick. <laughs> I know they're not going to. So I'm just going to hot glue them on without burning my fingers here, of course. Just a few here and there. I'm going to put a little more uh, black on here. So. wings down here, like I said, without burning myself. I think that will look really cute to have a few uh, of these on here. And uh, there's different ones in here. There's some tiny ones, much bigger ones, different ways of flying, of course, here. Kind of like this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, Place a few of these around, and then uh, we'll come back and we'll do all the embellishing that I'm going to do up here around the stem. Now I have a few of the bats on here. I think I'm going to use this as my front side of my pumpkin. I kind of like the shape of it this way. So uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some of these black leaves have a little bit of glitter on them. I'm gonna put some hot glue on them here. And let's see. Glue them up by the stem here. So I got three of these that I'm gonna place around. going to uh, hand draw some ghosts. I have these little ghosts here and I was thinking about taking a sharpie and hand drawing some because these you can take them off of here and glue them on but then you'd have to outline them and I was just going to kind of mimic it but you know it's a little looks a little difficult with all the texture going on but I don't think they would look that good so that's why I decided to put the bats on. I'm actually going to use these up here instead on the top. Okay, so now the next thing I have is these little buffalo check curls. These is on a pick. There's three on a pick and I cut them off. And uh, I'm not sure 
where I want to put these. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, play with this for a little bit here. See what I like. Right. This is the hard part. <laughs> Leaves are easy to put on. You just put them on, but, uh, oops, so have to figure out how these to curl. That's kind of nice. Okay, I guess I'm gonna got three of these. You can use anything that you want to. I'm just trying to make this uh, mainly I'll be black and white. I think that one will look good there. Boy, I tell you what, I just keep knocking things over today. And the last one I'm going to put over here. Sometimes you gotta, you have to play with these things. Right, let me go see what else I can find. I want to put some, I don't know, something to stick up in here. Okay, let me go see what else I can find to put on here. Besides, I have a, a bat and uh, two of these ghosts. I think I need something else in there. So let me go see if I can find something sparkly. All right, I went ahead and finished doing some hot gluing some things on off camera because it was taking a little while to work on it. So I uh, put these little styrofoam balls around here and there. Then I hot glued some of these picks on here and my two little ghosts right here. And I decided to keep the bat off. I don't know, I just think it's too much. The bat's kind of big. I do have it here. I mean, I guess you could put the bat in. You could just kind of twist around. I, don't know. I think it's too much with the bat. Just kind of twist him around here. So I can take him off if I really don't like him. I mean, he might be okay. I don't know. If I was to keep them on, I'd definitely have to paint this uh, wire black. So. Could work. I don't know. So this is how it turned out. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and take a few pictures of this all around. I have a quick little video on it, and then we're going to come back and see my cutest little pumpkin that I have. So cute in his little pumpkin costume. He's a little pumpkin. <laughs> I call my uh, my dogs the little pumpkins. This was actually Colby's, my older dog. Uh, he's a little bit bigger. He's a rat terrier, and Bailey here is a Chihuahua terrier mix. And uh, I got this little costume for Colby when he was about five months old in uh, October. That first year we had him and. Uh, 
He's outgrown it. But it fits Bailey perfectly. I know he doesn't really like it. <laughs> Do you? Anyway, he doesn't like them. He doesn't like to wear sweaters or anything, but Colby does. He loves to. Okay, you want to sit right there? All right. <laughs> so, like I said, here is pretty simple, easy decoupage pumpkin that I did. Now, uh, it did take me a few hours to do it, and a little tip is if you want to speed up the drying time, just put your blow dryer on it. That's what I did to speed it up. And uh, you might have noticed in the pictures, because this is basically the back side, because these ghosts, I just went ahead and took the tip of my paintbrush, the, the uh, wooden end, and I dipped it in the black paint and I dotted some eyes on them so it looks more dimensional. I'm still not sure about the... He's still just kind of hanging here. Yeah. About the bat. I'm not sure. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep him like that. But uh, you could also do some for fall. Because I do have another white pumpkin. Because I had two. And I was going to do some with some fall leaves and some plaid. But I know that will take a lot more time. And I thought this one would be a lot quicker. And it is a lot easier to do. And like I said, it would be nice if you could uh, just do some outlines of some ghosts on here too. Because you don't even have to put the napkins on like I did. I just wanted some texture to it. You could just put the boo on. You could even paint on the boo if you wanted to. Not even do anything decoupage. But I thought uh, this is a little cute idea to dress up one of your faux pumpkins. And uh, that is the end of the video today. Now, i got to get started on getting my house cleaned up and getting the laundry done and getting those porches decorated so you guys can see that on Monday. So I want to wish everybody a very wonderful rest of your weekend here and I'll see you on Monday.